All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how to take a Factory Talks View Studio application, which is a, a machine edition, and we're going to show you how to convert that to a site edition. Uh, now, this process seems pretty simple, but we're going to have there's a, a, a subtle process to it, and we're going to show you how to do that. Now, we are going to be using the Rockwell um, low file locations, which you can see, um, which is your this PC. Uh, uh, C drive, all users, public, public documents, and then RS View Enterprise. At this point, we have ME projects, and we're going to be using the ME projects. Um, in this case, we have InstaFizz ME, um, and we can use that one, and we will. Uh, so we'll use this one as the uh, one we're going to convert. Now, we do keep in mind we do have InstaFizz right here. Uh, we do have that right here. So actually, let's go in and we have this one uh, already done. Let's go ahead and pick one that we have not done yet, uh, just to kind of give you a full implementation and to, just to show you how this how this is done. Right. So we can do um, uh, the onboard audit demo. Why not? Let's do that one. Um, we can actually open that process up and see that it is a um, an actual application. So this doesn't matter which version you're running, um, even though you did see that I am running version or factory talk view 13. This does not matter which version you're running. It just matters that you do have ME and SE installed on your application. Um, now we said we're going to do the onboard audit. Let's go ahead and open that one up and verify that the process is uh, current and it, it does work, right? So first, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure, and you already probably do have a ME version. In this case, what I'm doing is making sure that my version is actually active and it works, right? And how does it work, right? So what does it look like? So this is the main screen. Uh, this is the audit. This is the audit screen. Uh, these are the admin functions. Very simple. Um, looks like a very simple application. So let's go ahead. Notice that this is a ME type scenario. All right. So let's close that out. Being that we know we have uh, that file and we have that file right here. Uh, we can also do the SMP or SMTP email demo as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and do one at a time. So first, what we want to do is we want to open up Studio. And this is going to be making a local edition, right? So first, even if you want to make a site, uh, uh, a site edition network distributed, first you need to step it up to the local edition first, to the local station. All right, so that's the first process. And then after that, it's very, very, very simple to move it to um, the uh, uh, site, it, the network distributed site. So we're going to click new and then we're going to give it the same name. Uh, let's just copy this. Uh, oh, this is the onboarding one. We're going to give it the same name. So let's give it the same name and we'll call this SE. All right, so then we're going to hit import. Now, this is the most important part, right? This is very, very, very simple. We're going to use the MED. Right, this gives you the ability to use RS View 32, um, ME, ME's uh, application, or an SE station. Right, so we're going to go ahead and do that version, and then this is the part that we're going to point to the actual uh, place we want to import from. So in our case, it's going to be that same default location because that's where our file is. And then we're going to go all the way down to our MED file and we're going to open it up and hit finish. Now what this is going to do is automatically going to convert that to an SE project. Now this does not say that it's going to fix all of your uh, differences from ME to SE. And what I mean by that is if you are trying to if you're trying to uh, use this 
let's just say for instance there's some weird uh, things like parameter passing and stuff like that you will have to correct that um, what this will do is this will give you all the it will convert your screens for you it will convert your macros um, and it will convert a lot of things for you like this um, this did convert our macro right here and the macro so you should not have to edit that because those same commands still do work in macros um, make sure that you do have the same imaging um, local instructions uh, or local messages probably not going to use that uh, global objects any global objects that you're using make sure they're there and then open up your application to make sure it does look the same it looks and feels exactly the same right so that's showing you that the process of how to do that now with all this being said you see that was very 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 simple right now the thing about it is if you were using any kind of parameter files or anything like that you would have to then go in and edit the parameter files and to get them to work with like say if you were had some kind of parameter files or something like that you would have to get them to work with the, the se style parameter files which is a lot simpler and easier um, so with that said we could go in here and then change this to a network distributed really simple um, again when it comes on to it uh, with that said you can just basically import the same you already have the screen so now if we go to, to SE and then we go to projects we now have that demo in here we have that onboard demo SE and we have the SED file so we do have a conversion that we've already did let's go ahead and do that process one more time just for those that want to see it um, in this instance let's go ahead and do the emmy project of uh let's see let's do the the instaphys emmy and we'll call it instaphys emmy too um, so we'll go ahead and get our name and that way you can see an actual application that's pretty complex all right so let's open up studio all right so view studio is open again local um, you're not you're not just going to jump to network distributed right off the gate um, we're going to do new we're going to paste this in here and then we're going to call this uh, me and then we'll call this conversion me uh, me uh, to se conversion and that way we know what this is doing right so at this point we want to point to our location the med file is what we're going to use that way we get the whole project um, a lot of people will say well let's just do the application no do the me med file that way you get the whole application it will load and then the only thing afterwards you will have to do is add your rs either rs links uh, enterprise or factory taught links inside of there and then add your shortcuts um, and that point in time that's pretty simple you should know the shortcuts that you currently have in your ME process just duplicate those uh, inside of the um, you know site edition application and that will get it running um, again there may be some subtle differences and sort of things you need to fix the first thing you need to check on all the applications that you do this on is you do need to double check the way things are done for like parameter passing um, stuff of that nature um, when it comes over here make sure your displays work first okay so make sure your displays work um, in this one we're going to go to overview we're going to go to blending we're going to make sure all of our stuff works we have all of our our uh, things in here that we need oh just open up some screens make sure everything is working if there's any weird active x problems then you may need to actually fix the active x when you're when you're changing versions but I, I wouldn't suspect that if you're keeping it on if whatever if you're on factory talk 10 and you're going to factory talk 10 you shouldn't have any weird uh, active x issues if you're going from factory talk 10 to factory talk 13 you may have to have that 
Um, this is uh, again the faceplate for the that. Uh, let's open up a global object just to make sure that's good. We're not going to save that. This is another one. They use a global object for their footer bar. All right, so this one does actually have parameters. It has tank one. Okay, so the way you can do this is again, now you can still leave this like this, but natural parameter passing um, would be to actually change this, right? So if this, if this is saying, okay, where in, and if you want to know, how do I find where that parameter is, right? So how do I find where that parameter is? Uh, that's very simple. You go up to your find and you want to go to tank one. That's going to be tank one down here, the parameter that we're, we're looking for. We're going to find all. It will show us the exact screen that it's used on. Okay. So right here, it's used right here. This is where it's used. So if you want, what you can do, and the way they have this instruction done is they're no longer there. See, I mean, they're actually, they have it converted for you to use it. Now, if you open up the other version, uh, so just to kind of give you a heads up, uh, let's look, open up the same thing on the ME side of things and see how things work. Uh, so we're going to get an ME and we're going to open up the InstaFizz ME. Um, this will show you exactly how that parameter passing does work. It's a little bit different. It's going to look and feel a little bit different. Uh, but I do highly recommend you still change that, um, but you know, to a, a better process. Uh, site addition is so much easier to, to use standard parameter passing. Um, and you've seen, if you've seen any of my videos about parameter passing, you you can understand that. All right. So in this case, let's do the exact same thing. Let's go to find, and then we're going to hit tank one because we know that parameters in there. It's the same exact application. This is going to be on the ME side of things. So the machine edition. Okay. So this right here, and we're going to open this up. And the way this is, is it's going to point to a screen and then the parameter it's going to load, which that parameter just happens to be down here. So this parameter down here is tank one. So what it's doing is it's coming in here. It's saying that it doesn't care about connections. It, all it does is say, I want to load this screen and load that parameter, which that parameter happens to be the same exact thing as it was in the SE version, which is saying uh, basically one is going to be uh, right here. Parameter one is going to be PLC one. And if you're wondering that PLC one is a shortcut that they currently have in the system. So if you looked right here in your shortcuts, for those that wanted to know, um, you know, how that looked, PLC one is the shortcut. Okay. So in this case, PLC one is what, and then the program of PLC one, then blending tank one. That's what they're trying to, again, pop up. Right, or that in this case, that's what they're trying to illustrate. So keep that same thing in mind and keep that same thing open right here is they're going to display that tank and then they're going to pass the parameter tank one. Yes, that will still work. Okay, that will still work. There's a different way to do that. Um, we're not going to quite get into that right now because this video is getting kind of long, but when it comes down to it, this is how you do. Uh, you know, change it from one version to another, from ME to SE. Um, very simple, very easy to do. Uh, just it's just a process, just like you would. Um, go ahead and you know vet your things right. Make sure everything is done correctly. Um, in this case, it does not come with an RS links or our factory taught links. So you will need to come up top and add your factory taught links. I did discuss that. And then you would have to add in the same exact shortcuts that you had. So in this, it's not going to have any shortcuts. Okay. So you have to add your shortcuts and that's why you'd still open up this, uh, your ME side of things and see how the shortcut is. So it's PLC. That's the shortcut name. I don't know exactly where it goes because I'm not, this is just a demo. So with that said, 
that's what you would set up over here is the shortcut PLC one. So PLC one, again, uh, I don't know where it goes, so we're just gonna cancel it just like that. So uh, again, that's it, but it is important that you do set that up, right? So just keep in mind, that's two easy ways, or the, the easy way to transmit that and to convert that over from an ME application to an SE application. I do highly recommend that you go through and vet, because every application is gonna be different, that you vet all your stuff and make sure it works when you do the conversion. Um, if you're going to do this and you say, I just want a couple of these screens on my new, uh, I already have an SE version and I already have this whole process done, but I just want a couple screens. Then at this point in time, you have converted the application. All you need to do is export the screens that you want and then import the screens that you want into the other application. That's uh, that simple and you will be done and that will be a working progress for you. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.